Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Subsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those reality shows that we're doing is The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And here's the thing. So I spent last week, you know, in Houston, and the casino that I was in was very smoky, you know. And like I said, I'm from Las Vegas, so that was like, if that that's bad, right? So I've got have this crap in the back of my throat. It's been getting better every day, but I'm just it still hasn't gone away yet. It's been annoying. And of course, since I've had pneumonia and I've been in the hospital now, I'm always nervous that oh my god, what if I have pneumonia again? <laughs> so I always try to even if I'm like have like really uh, like a cough or something. I always now I always try to take a deep breath. Because when I had pneumonia, I couldn't do that. I would, I could only take so much breath in at all. So I feel, I feel like okay, my lungs are working correctly. I just have this weird thing in my throat. I know, and I, it's, I'm totally, probably 100% paranoid. But you know, I didn't appreciate being hospitalized. You know, it wasn't like you know I liked it that much. You know, it, I, I made the best of a bad situation. Let's put it that way. Okay, so on the Housewives of Beverly Hills this week, okay, so last week, you know, I just, uh, I have a difficult time sometimes with, with Teddy, because she, Basically, well, okay, obviously, so as I said last week, it's obvious she's never watched a single episode of the show, ever, because Erica Jane went off on her the exact same way she went off on Eileen, except not even as harsh. She was way harsher to Eileen, and here's the thing, Eileen and Erica are besties, and Eileen felt like shit afterwards, and she was like, I feel so bad, you know, but... And Eric was like, you know what, I'm so sorry I lost my temper with you, you know, I did not mean, I know you didn't mean it, you know. So, they worked through it, and now they, they still write love letters to each other on Twitter all the time. It's cute. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I would write love letters to Eileen, too. I love me some Eileen. Oh, my God, especially when she was Susan Banks on Days of Our Lives. Oh, my God, she was so fierce. I cannot believe that she wasn't nominated as, as Susan. I really can't, because... She should have been. She totally should have been. In fact, I think that I want to know what two episodes she submitted because if they were the ones that I suggested, then I'm going to feel really bad because she should she should have she should have won. Regardless, maybe it's because maybe it's because Susan didn't. Sorry, it's a little bit late. Maybe it's because Susan didn't really qualify for um, a supporting actress part. Maybe she would have been in the guest performer role with John Enos and um, Scooter. I don't know. I don't even remember who played him. I, I don't even remember Scooter at all. Um, but yeah, like uh, Morgan Fairchild, like with all those people. You know, so maybe it's a good thing because, I mean, let's be real, she's Eileen Davidson. If she won that category, it's not like it would have been that difficult. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll have to find out. I'll, I'll, I'll get, you know, I'll get to the scoop. I'll get to the bottom of this shit. Okay, so, back to the Housewives of Beverly Hills. So, we know Teddy didn't watch anything because she had no clue you know, because Erica went off on her when she said that, oh, Erica's got selective amnesia, and she's like, don't you ever call, and like, she's like, you know, and her voice changed, and now, was Teddy being melodramatic when she was retelling the story to Kyle? Yes. But, did Erica vo Erica's voice change and everything? Yes, it does. It does, because it did when she went off on Eileen, and it did when she went off on Teddy. So, you know, I, I think that's very interesting. What else I find interesting, so Kyle ends up having a seance at her house because she wants to talk to her mom. And, you know, I've got, okay, here's something else I want to talk about. 
You know that my other favorite besides Erica Jane is Lisa Vanderpump. I love me some Lisa Vanderpump. And one of the things I love about Lisa Vanderpump that I haven't gotten so much the chance to do with Erica Jane on the show is it's I have seen a progression in her character, um, or at least what they show on television, uh, over these past, God, like, what, eight years? So I've been able to see her evolve. I'm sorry. And it's really been quite lovely, actually. And I have to say, like, she's she probably shown more emotion this season than I've seen ever. And again, listen, I don't think that if you don't show emotion that you're cold. Because if you're from England and you don't show emotion, you're not going to, right? So, yeah, I, I don't necessarily buy all of that. Okay. Um, but it's nice to see that she it she does she's not some ice princess she does feel things and i did feel awful for her because she had three dogs buried in the back and two of them passed recently and one of them was pink dog and that was she was really and poor ken oh my god i felt so bad for ken too ken was like blaming himself the whole time and the dog had a heart attack there's nothing anybody anybody there's nothing anything that there's there isn't anything that anybody could have done but he felt bad because it he, the dog died in his lap i mean like oh god uh, that you know my dog died in my arms but she was put down so it's not like you know i was just holding my dog and then one day my dog died you know, like, that's that's what kind of what happened with Pink Dog. So, uh, yeah, I, I had a hard time just with my dog. I can only imagine how difficult it must have been for Lisa and Ken. So, um, now, here's another thing, too. Now, I do feel like Lisa and Erica are getting into a better place. And that's, you know, that makes me happy. Because I hate it when my favorites fight. Because it really irritates me. Because as a viewer, that means that I've got to pick a side. And sometimes I can't, right? Sometimes I can. But sometimes I can't. Like, on Below Deck, it really upset me that Kyle and Kate weren't getting along. Because I love them both so much. Like, I think they're both so fierce. Um, but, you know... Anyways, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so... Moving on. So Kyle had this seance and she had this psychic there, Rebecca. I could swear, if I'm not mistaken, Rebecca was one of the psychics that came on board on Below Deck and was talking to Captain Lee and was like, yeah, your mother has passed. And she's saying, he's like, my parents are both still alive. And so she said, oh. Like, she couldn't pull anything out of her butt for Captain Lee at all. So, Captain Lee was like, I'm on to your bullshit. And Lisa Vanderpump was, too. Like, Lisa Vanderpump, I loved, I, I was living for her um, interviews, her confessionals, because she was like, and actually, you know who else was really funny in the confessionals, too, was Dorit. Dorit was really hilarious as well. But the psychic said that the one with the most psychic ability would have been Erica Jane. And she's like, yes, it's true. And that's why I'm so closed off. And she's like, and there's two people I've seen their entire lives flash in front of my face from the beginning and to the end. And if I told you which two, you would think that no, no, I'm crazy or whatever. So that was kind of interesting. I'm, now, I'm, now, of course, you know I'm dying to know, well, who are the two people that she's talking about, right? Um, but, but... I hate to say this, but I'm kind of with Lisa Vanderpump and thinking that it's kind of a crock. Like, I feel like, like if she came through and she said, you know, your grandmother is sitting right next to me, and I'd be like, yeah, right. Because anyone who watches this show knows that I, my grandmother passed. That's the whole reason I started the Sudsy Recap, because my grandma died two years ago, right? And we watched soaps together, and this was, that was the way that we could, you know, bond. Now... If she said that my grandma, you know, now if she said that, no, there's some other people that have died that I have been close to, and I'm not, I haven't really talked about publicly. So if she were to mention any of those, then I would be a little bit more, 
bel, bel, uh, credulous? No, she would be credulous. What is the word I'm looking for? I would be a little bit more um, of a believer, you know, if she knew any of those people. But it doesn't, it didn't, I'm sorry, she didn't really say anything that anybody, like that nobody would have known, right? Anyways. Thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Angel Benton. You can hashtag RHOBH to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, or you can also hashtag Real Housewives shit. Or you can also hashtag Bold and Beautiful to talk Bold and Beautiful. Now, Bold and Beautiful, I'm not, I'm not doing that episode next, actually. Next is going to be my story time with Angel Benton series. Yes, tomorrow morning I will be doing a new story time with Angel Benton where I continue the Britney Spears saga. And we talk about that. And that will be my last story time in this apartment, too. So that's kind of sad. But anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Have a great night. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.